Welcome into Celtics post game live. Eddie House, Amina Smith here with you. In a tough, chippy, hard fought battle between the Celtics and the Pacers. However, Indiana walking away with the win 133 to 131. A back and forth match. I'm starting to feel like a rivalry between both of these two teams. But, Eddie, what made the difference tonight? Well, it was the third quarter. Mm -hmm. Again, the third quarter has been one of the. the places and, and point of emphasis, I think, for this team uh, for their success, whether it be um, winning or losing games. And <clears throat> this one, you know, giving up 44 points, you know, they gave up 40 points against OKC, and you could always point back and say, we had to be better in that third quarter. We could have been better defensively in that third quarter. And to me, that's the main thing. And it doesn't come down to the ref making a call or not making a call if you take care of your business for 48 minutes or however long it takes. But that third quarter is the thing that stuck out to me. The third quarter was definitely a high point, well, I guess a low point for this Celtics team in this matchup. But that fourth quarter, a lot went down. Let's take a look at how it all unfolded in that fourth quarter, starting with Aaron Neesmith getting the layup right here and the foul. That makes it 129 to 124, five-point lead for the Pacers. Look at all this emotion. You know, it's always a little bit of extra emotion for Aaron Neesmith whenever he plays the Celtics. Then the Celtics, they go on a 7-0 run. It starts with a JV layup right there. And then Jalen Brown again trying to get something going for this Celtics team. A jumper puts him up 129 to 128. And then his guy, Kristaps Porzingis, on this play right here. That connection very strong. A three-pointer from Kristaps Porzingis. And then the Pacers trying to hit that. TJ McConnell, check him out on this play. That is not easy to huh. do on Drew Holiday. That's a tough play right there from TJ McConnell. And then... Getting back on the other side of the court, Jalen Brown takes a shot. But then take a look at this. Buddy Hill looks like it, you know, there's a foul right there. But then the Pacers, they want to review it. Rick Carlisle, he gets the challenge, and they win this challenge. He got hit upside the head. They right say there. that Buddy Hill didn't touch him. That's what they said. They said he did not touch him. Celtics fans obviously upset about that on Twitter. And then you take a look at this next play right here, the Pacers. Mathurin gets it off. Then they call a foul on Chris Stapps Porzingis. Another critical play here for the Celtics. And this is where things start to go downhill for this Boston team. It felt like the refs were kind of getting in the way down the stretch. Chris Stapps Porzingis obviously mad about that. Derek White tries to inbound it. Tries to get Luke Cornett to tip it in. Does not work. And that's how we land at 133 to 131 for tonight's matchup. And Eddie, a, a lot of back and forth in this game. Drew Carter and Scal joining us right now as well. And I guess, Scal, I'll start with you. How did things fall apart for this Celtics team down the stretch? I don't know if it fell apart down the stretch. I thought they played well. Missoula waited until that under seven timeout, brought the guys back in. I thought they executed well. I mean, listen, Indiana's a pro team, too. Those guys really made some big shots. But, you know, I, didn't, I, I can't complain about the way the Celtics played, you know, in this game. I thought that they battled. The third quarter, and I, I know Eddie is, is really hard on the Celtics about the third quarter. The third quarter killed us. I think uh, T.J. McConnell had a big impact on that. But I like the way that they played down the stretch. It just got, uh, you know, like – Indiana made shots, and I thought that was a foul. I thought he got hit in the back of the head. I can't believe they missed that. I do want to go back to that, Drew, and want to talk about that foul that Buddy Heel had on Jalen Brown. Did not call it a foul in real time in the game, but what were your thoughts about that? Well, I'm just surprised that after how many times they looked at it, they didn't see the contact on the back of the head. Either they didn't see it or they thought he hit the ball first. There are three pacers around him here, and they, they called it a foul initially. So, to me, to overturn that, it's got to be clear and obvious that it's clean. And that's the furthest thing from clear and obvious that it's clean. That yeah. He got hit, as Eddie said, upside the head. <laughs> so, I don't know how you overturn that, to be I, honest I, with I, you. Yeah. I'll tell you what. They, uh, Sam be out there with the commercials and the promos for Zenny and getting your vision fixed. Uh, that Dell referee, yeah. uh, James, <laughs> Michael, James Williams, Michael Smith, and Derek Richardson need to go to Zenny and either get some contacts or some new glasses because they definitely – I mean, he got hit upside his head. His head tilted and everything. And that last play on Porzingis, Porzingis touched the ball first, first, but since he wasn't vertical, mm -hmm. I could see them making that call. But he did touch the ball first. But um, it should never have came down to that. But they did show fight. And at the end, they played hard. They did execute. 
at the end, it's that third quarter again. And these are the things that, you know, these are building blocks, man. You can look back and say, hey, man, we got to be better in the third quarter. But I, th I thought they got jobbed right there um, the, the last couple plays. Scout, what did you think about the foul called on Porzingis? I mean, I think that's a 50-50 call. Like, if that was the, the start of the fourth quarter, I'm like, okay, I get, I get it. Um, but at the end, I don't know. It could go either way. I, I didn't think it was not a foul, put it that way. But, uh, you know, it's one of those things where you can't make a compounding error if you're an official because you blew one. Now, all of a sudden, you want to blow the other one. So, I, I didn't have a problem with that call. Let's yeah. Let's just be fair. Like I think that's a foul on Porzingis. I mean, he, he hits him on the arm. He's in his airspace. You're not worried about people not liking you for saying that. I think it's good to be fair. Let's be honest. They were both fouls. No, I'm with you. They I'm were with, both fouls. I'm with you. I'm worried about people not liking me because I'm wearing this vest, or as you called it, a life preserver earlier. I'm not worried about it because of the call. Let me tell you why I called it a life preserver because I didn't know if I was going to say it. I kept going back and forth, but the question you asked me, I forgot the answer. So I was like, dang it, I better call it a life preserver. Yeah. Oh my. God. God. One that's, of us. That's what you came up with. One of us with needs a new by shirt. looking at it, you called it a life yeah. preserver. <laughs> that's because, old school. Okay. No, I, I yeah, mean, I didn't yeah. get that from the vest, though, Drew. I, I'm not mad Thanks, at you Amina. for the vest. Okay. And Amina, you're the best dressed person on this show, so Thank I appreciate you, you saying that. Thank that you. means a lot. I'm I, just glad that I'm not doing Dry January because that finish. I'm going to need one on the way back. Yeah. Woo, Wait, you're not doing dry January? I'm not doing dry January. I thought January. everyone was supposed to do dry no. January. What's the point? What's what is the, the, when you don't drink in January? Stream. But also, it's like, yeah. I don't get it. It's like, why don't you drink in January? Then you drink for the rest of the year. I don't know what sense that makes. But that's just no, me. That's, that's just me. We're trying to turn the calendar. We're yeah. trying to be better. Right, yeah. Trying to reset I, I guess the system. Everything magically they lie to themselves. That's what they're Exactly. That's exactly what's happening. All right, let's take a break here on Celtics Post Game Live and look at that final score 133 to 131.